Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met in London with the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the Bahraini-British relations are moving towards further development and prosperity within the framework of the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also underlined the depth of the historical relations between the two kingdoms that spanned for many years, which contributed to strengthening frameworks of cooperation and coordination in various fields. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa explained that the Kingdom of Bahrain has close cooperation with Britain in many fields, which contributes to the support and stability of various fields in the two kingdoms, praising the efforts of Mr. Boris Johnson in continuing the joint relations between the two kingdoms. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa discussed with Boris Johnson many topics in several fields and sought to continue strengthening the common areas between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Britain in addition to reviewing regional and international issues of common interest and the efforts made in their regard. In the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, the Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, inaugurated a public park in Rifa' area block 927 which comes as part of a package of development projects of a service nature. The Speaker of the Representatives Council praised the Royal Directives of His Majesty the King to develop service projects in all governorates to serve the country and the citizens in a manner that enhances the comprehensive development process expressing the deep thanks and appreciation for the efforts of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and his continuous follow-up to launch the vital projects in order to achieve the royal visions and an implementation of the government's programs. Zainal appreciated the keenness of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning in establishing service projects, parks and public utilities by increasing cosmetics and recreational projects in various areas in line with the aspirations and the requirements of the people. For his part, the Governor of the Southern Governorate affirmed the government's keenness to monitor all the needs of the people in various fields through field visits and work to implement projects in cooperation and coordination with various government agencies in the context of achieving the comprehensive development process, explaining that the Southern Governorate relies on an approach based on national communication and partnership. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning said that the Ministry is keen to expand the green area and increase its per capita share through increasing cosmetics and recreational projects in the Kingdom. The Minister of the Interior and Chairman of the Committee to Combat Extremism, Terrorism and its Financing and Money Laundering, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the committee meeting to set policies against money laundering and terrorism financing. The Interior Minister commended the committee role in reinforcing national efforts in fighting money laundering and terrorism financing that led to regional and international recognition. The Minister hailed the approval of Bahrain's third enhanced follow-up report on the procedures and legislation for prohibiting and combating money laundering and terrorism financing. The report was approved during the Middle East and North Africa Financial Action Task Force, Mina Fatif, held in Bahrain. He said that the outstanding rating as a regional and international accomplishment and reflects the national efforts based on laws and reg regulations. The minister said that the endorsement of many laws against money laundering and terrorism financing had contributed to the distinguished outcomes. For his part, the deputy governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to the Interior Minister for his support for the committee's efforts and initiatives, noting that the directives have had a positive impact on achieving this distinguished global achievement. A high-level Bahraini delegation has concluded its participation in the annual World Economic Forum, Davos, held from the 22nd to the 26th of the month. During their participation, the delegation promoted Bahrain's unique investment opportunities along with the economic recovery plan of the kingdom. 
Among the members of the Bahraini delegation, advisor to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who spoke in a session titled The Future of the Abraham Accords, while the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, was a speaker in the Middle East and North Africa Economic Outlook session. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also participated in a discussion session on the current economic situation and the prospects for economic growth in Bahrain, the Middle East and North Africa, which was held as part of the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum 2022 in Davos. Sheikh Salman affirmed that the rise in international oil prices is a positive factor that requires continuing economic diversification efforts and strengthening initiatives that support increasing the contributions of the non-oil sector to the GDP to reach the desired development goals. The minister highlighted the launch of Bahrain's economic development plan last October. Bahrain's delegation also included the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Mr. Ayman Al Mu'ayyad. The Arab Regional Center for World Heritage inaugurated the second part of the book, The World Heritage in the Arab Countries, at a ceremony hosted at the National Library in the Moroccan capital, Rabat. In the presence of the chairperson of the board of directors of the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa. Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa said that the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage devotes all its financial and technical capabilities to help Arab countries advance efforts to preserve and maintain their cultural and national heritage, leading to prosperity, growth, and sustainable development. She emphasized the importance of cooperation between the public and private sectors for the good of the cultural work in Bahrain. The Secretary of the Higher Education Council and Deputy Chairperson of the Council's Board of Trustees, Dr. Sheikh Arana bint Isa bin Daij Al Khalifa, participated in the Education World Forum held under the theme, Education Building Forward Together, Stronger, Bolder, Better. The forum shed light on a set of educational issues and their importance in achieving peace among people. It is considered the biggest annual meeting of the education ministers in the world. It was held in London in the presence of the British Secretary of State for Education, Nawam Az zahawi with the participation of a number of education ministers and officials from across the world. The Kingdom of Bahrain has witnessed a significant decline in the mortality curve of sickle cell disease by 42% compared to the previous years from 2012 to 2021. The decline is the result of the proactive steps taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain and attaching regarding genetic blood diseases and its endeavors to enable all the citizens and residents to obtain comprehensive qualitative and sustainable health care through providing the latest internationally approved protocols the latest of which was the drug Srizan Lizwamp, which is the first treatment discovered 20 years ago to treat diabetic patients, which was directed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, by including it in the treatment protocol for patients after completing clinical trials to combat genetic diseases and the rapid improvement of patients.